Hi Crafters, it's Muriel. I totally forgot to show you these altered clothes pins that I made in my last video. I do apologize, but I want to go ahead and show them to you now. I purchased these um, altered clothes pins from Michael's there by Jolie's Boutique, and I was so fascinated by them because they have these um, feathers, you know, at the end of like the crow's tail and then that crow is carrying these keys. So I came home and I thought I would go ahead and try to duplicate this as much as I could. And I'm using the um, black clothespins from uh, Recollections. I picked them up at Michael's. I like using these. I purchased um, uh, one other pack and I um, altered some um, masculine clothespins and I thought they came out really really cute so this time I thought I would um, alter some Halloween ones and I use um, some feathers and I wanted to show you I recently um, let's see if I can get to it here one of my trips to Michael's um, on the as in as is bin excuse me I purchased this project case. Now I bought one um, for my daughter, one that wasn't sold as is, for her to house important documents when she goes to school. But I purchased two of these that were as is and I got them for $1.75. So they open up, you know, perfectly. But the back um, hinge on one side is kind of um, broken as you can see. But doesn't matter. So what I do is I um, removed all the feathers from um, one of the locations that I had them at and I keep them in here. So not bad because feathers just tend to get all over the place. So um, I pulled out my feathers. I also pulled out these um, stickers from Jolie's of witches hats and cauldrons. And then just some, a few other things that I had in my stash. Excuse me. So here's some of the clothespins that I altered. The paper I use varies because I just have a Halloween box and if there's any scraps in there, that's what I use. But this is basically a deep purple and black paper. I used um, one of those skeleton keys from Ana Yanez. She had given me some purple um, twine and then the cauldron there. So that's one. Um, I removed the top from the metal piece here and um, I just made it easy. In the past I have measured the clothespin, cut the paper, put it on there. Not this time. This time I basically had the paper face down, put some um, my favorite adhesive quick dry on top of the clothespin, pressed it on top of the paper, left it there overnight, got my, uh, you know, box knife, cut this from around the paper, and voila. I don't know why I was making things so difficult before. So that's one of them. The second one, I pulled out a um, button that I've had from my stash forever. This is a um, jack-o'-lantern, and this uh, crow is from Momenta. I had several of those, so I just put some feathers on his tail and just some green um, burlap, a piece that I had from my uh, trims basket, and then just some printed paper in the background. Okay, and again, I kept the bottom, uh, the, the back side solid. So um, that's the second one. My third one is using some orange and black checkered paper with the skeleton again some orange twine and then one of the um, witch's hat from Jolie's with a feather. So cute. So, so cute. And then the fourth one I use, as I showed you before, the cute ugly skeleton head um, from Recollections and he had this um, little tie, bow tie thing. And then I'm using a sticker, a star sticker from a pack that um, Diane had just given me and I just embellish it with a black um, bling. And then I had this feather and I just got it sticking straight out of his head. Looks kind of weird, but you know, what's not weird at Halloween time? So again, the black is um, 
the back is just solid black. So those are the four clothespins. I wanted to do a whole bunch, but I thought I'd better hold on to my black ones until I see some more at Michael's and I'll go ahead and buy them. But those are the four that I altered um, based on being inspired by these that I uh, found by Jolie's at Michael's. So they're really fun to do. If you have them, you can certainly use the regular wooden clothespins and just gather up all the little Halloween things that you have. And you'd be surprised, you'll just get to gluing and then you'll say, oh, let me put a piece of ribbon, let me put a piece of twine, I think I have an old button, I have a silver sticker, and it's whatever you um, make it to be. So thanks again, everyone. I think this is the last video, but uh, you never know here in the Coop House. So have a wonderful evening. Bye now.